I'm Blake. I'm from Madison, Connecticut, but I live in New York City. And I had read about um, people getting assaulted for being gay. I think we've all been called names before, but it really uh, hit me for the first time uh, when me and a couple other friends were walking down 9th Ave in Hell's Kitchen, which is a very gay neighborhood, and uh, a guy started uh, calling us names and ended up pushing a friend, slapping me in the face, pushing another one into a, a parked car. and it, it, it was ridiculous at the time. Like I was like, this doesn't happen in this neighborhood. Um, but it did, and then the police didn't really do anything about it, even though we called them and they showed up. Uh, so it turned into a story, and it kind of spread like wildfire around Facebook and around blogs, and, and uh, we did interviews with TV stations here in New York, and the police called us right back after that and uh, started investigating it, as they should have in the first place. Um, it, was, it was a lesson in uh, you have to talk about it whether it's talking about that it happened so you can tell people that issues like this still exist, or talking about that it happened to actually make the response happen that needs to happen, whether it was the investigation or so that the police don't neglect stuff like that in the future. Um, but nothing would have come of it if we hadn't talked about it. Uh, there was a kid who read about it, I guess on Facebook, in California, and he sent me a message and he said, listen, I've never come out to anyone uh, before. It took me a lot of courage to send you this email, and I've never dated a guy, I've never slept with a guy. I, I know I'm gay, but I haven't come to terms with it myself. And the reason that I wanted to tell you, even though I don't even know you, is because you, you, know, you stood up for it, and you're proud of who you are, and, and you guys are like advocates. And you made me realize that I, it's okay, and that I could be happy to be this person that I'm figuring out. Um, he sent me a message a couple weeks later. That, um, it was amazing. He said, uh, you'd be so proud of me. I told my sister, and she was totally fine with it, just like you said she would be. And I came out to her roommate, who's gay, it turns out. And he's now in the process of, of coming out to his mom. And I didn't really do anything except be me. Uh, so it's pretty amazing, the, the power that you have. Um, just by putting ourselves out there, you know, and letting people, random people on Facebook or people in our family know that, hey, this stuff affects me, so it affects you too.